NCM Learning Center. Morning friends. Now I am going to discuss about node analysis concepts for solving an electric circuits. For example, to find the current flow through a branch or voltage across an element, mesh analysis or node analysis may use. But you should know both methods, mesh analysis as well as node analysis concepts. Because for, for a kind of problems, mesh analysis will be, will be an easiest approach. For other kind of problems, node analysis will be an easiest approach. So, in examinations, to solve a questions, electric circuits, within a quick time period, you should know both mesh analysis as well as the node analysis concepts. Okay. Now, I am going to solve three different problems using node analysis. If you clearly understand solution for the three problems, definitely you can solve any type of problems using node analysis. For the problems 1 and 2, objective is to find the current, branch current. But in the third problems, objective is to find the voltage across 3 kilo element and 1 kilo elements. Points to remember, the node analysis, what is the difference between node and mesh analysis? The node analysis directly calculate node voltage. After calculating the node voltage, we may find the circuit parameters, any parameters, branch current or voltage across an element or anyone. But mesh analysis directly calculate the individual loop current. Mesh means loop, loop current. After calculating the loop current, we may find any parameters. Okay. Here, what is mean by node? Node for the problems. What node means if more than two points are connected, the junction is called as node. In these problems, here this is a junction, but two branch only connected. So, it will not be considered as a node. In the junction, three branches are connected. More than two branches are connected. So, this junction is a one of the node. This is not a node because only two branches only connected. Here, junction, this is also a one of the node because three branches are connected. One of the junction will be a ground voltage. So, this point will be considered as ground voltage, zero volt. Is it possible to solve the problems uh, using mesh analysis? Possible. Then which one of the method is best? For the node analysis, number of node is only one. V1. So unknown parameter is one. But in the mesh analysis concepts, the loop current, individual loop current. This is one of the individual loop current. This is another one individual loop current. Total individual loop current is two. Unknown parameter is two. So, number of individual loop is 2, number of node is 1. If you choose the node analysis, number of unknown parameters is 1. If you choose the mesh analysis, number of unknown parameters is 2. Okay. So, node analysis is better. Because unknown parameters is lesser in node analysis. So, node analysis will be easiest approach. In the node analysis, Assume the node voltage is a higher potential. Always the node voltage will be a higher potential. So, always the current flow out from the node. Because this potential, node potential voltage will be always higher than other voltage in the circuits. So, always we have to assume the current flow out from the node. Okay. This is I1 current. This is I2. I3. In node analysis concepts, we should assume the node potential is higher than other potential, so always current flow from node. Okay. By Kirchhoff's current law, sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. Here, there is no incoming current. So, all outgoing current, so I1 plus I2 plus I3 is equal to 0. We know the Ohm's law. If a resistive element or V1 is voltage at one end, V2 is voltage at another end. What will be the voltage across the R? The voltage across the R is not V1, not V2. The voltage across the R is V1 minus V2. The voltage difference, voltage difference, V1 minus V2. So, by the Ohm's law, current I is equal to voltage across the element by R. Here, voltage across the element is V1 minus V2. Okay. Not V1 not V2. The voltage difference is V1 minus V2. 
So, substitute apply Ohm's law here I1 is equal to V1 minus 5 divided by 5. This is I1 current plus I2. I2 value is directly given 1 amps, but I2 and 1 amps current is in opposite direction. So, I2 is equal to minus 1 amps. If the current source values and I2 in same direction, the I2 will be the magnitude. Here, the current I2 and 1 amps current source in opposite direction, so minus 1 amps. Okay. The I3, I3 is B1 minus 0 divided by 15 because the two resistors are connected in series. So, the total resistance will be additive. So, 15. Okay, is equal to 0. Simply with the equation, take LCM 3 into V1 minus 15 minus 15 plus V1 is equal to 0. Simplify the equation, you will get 4 V1 minus that is equal to 0. So, V1 is equal to 7.5 volt. We calculated the node voltage V1. But our objective is to find the current I. I means I is equal to B1 minus 0 divided by 15. That is current I. So, I is equal to B1 by 15. B1 is equal to 7.5. I is equal to 7.5 15 is equal to 0.5 amps. That is all. Okay. Now, we will discuss the second problem. Here, we may solve this problem by using mesh analysis also. But in the mesh analysis concepts, number of individual loop 1, 2, 3. But in the node analysis concepts, here these plans are connected 1, 2, 3. So, this is one of the node. Here, this is also a 3L branch, 3 branch are connected. So, that voltage is V2. Here, this voltage will be considered as ground voltage. Remember this point. If no element resistive or inductive or capacitive, if no resistive element or inductive or capacitive element in between the two nodes, then the node voltage will be same. So, it will be considered as single node V1 is equal V2. It will be considered as single node V1. So, in these circuits, number of unknown parameter, number of node is 1. But if you if you use the mesh analysis for solving this problem, the number of individual loop is 3. So, which one is the best? Node analysis is the best one because number of unknown parameter is 1 for the node analysis. Number of unknown parameter for the mesh analysis is 3. Okay, so use the same concepts for the problem one. Always the node voltage is higher than other, other voltage source. So assume all the current out from the node is I1, I2, I3 current and I4 current. In the junction, by the Kirchhoff's current law, sum of incoming current is equal to sum of outgoing current. Here, all the currents are outgoing current. So, I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4 is equal to 0. By using Ohm's law, I1 is equal to B1 minus 10 divided by 10. This is I1 current. Plus I2 is equal to B1 minus 0 divided by 10. This is I2 current. Plus I3 current is equal to 10 ampere. Because I3 and this current source in the same direction. In the first problem, current source and I2 is in opposite direction. So, uh, we put the sign in negative sign. But here, this current source in same direction. So, it is a positive current. The 10 ampere. I4, V1 minus 0 divided by 10 is equal to 0. Simplify this equation. Take LCM. V1 minus 10 plus V1 minus 0 plus 100 plus V1 is equal to 0. So, 
3v1 plus 9 is equal to 0, v1 is equal to minus 30. We calculated the node voltage, but our objective is to find the current i. The current i direction is from bottom to top. So, i is equal to 0 minus v1 divided by 10. i is equal to 0 minus v1 divided by 10 or i is equal to minus i4. Okay. So, substitute in this equation 30 by 10 is equal to 3 amps. i is equal to 3 amps. Third problem. In the third problem, object is to find the voltage across 3 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors. In this problem, here this is not a node, because two elements are connected. Here this is an one of the node, this is a, another one node. So node voltage V1, this node V2. Apply the same concepts. So always this ground this is a ground potential assume the node voltage is higher than other potential so current flow from out from node i1 i2 i3 this current this in this node i4 i5 i6 apply the current lot node 1 i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to 0 so i1 is equal to v1 minus 5 divided by 2k plus i2 is equal to v1 minus 0 by 1k plus i3 is equal to v1 minus v2 current flow from v1 to v2 so v1 minus v2 by 3 kilo is equal to 0 simplify this equation take lc minus 6 multiply with 3 3 v1 minus 15 plus 6 v1 plus 2 v1 minus 2 v2 is equal to 0 Simplify the equation, we will get 11v1 minus 2v2 is equal to 15. Apply the Kirchhoff's current lot node 2, v2. Here this current i4 is v2 minus v1 by 3 because current flow, i4 current flows from v2 to v1. So, v2 minus v1 divided by 3 kilo ohm plus here v2 minus 0 by 2 kilo ohm plus V2 minus 0 by 2 kilo ohm is equal to 0. Simply with the equations, we will get the equation minus 2 V1 plus 8 V2 is equal to 0. Just solve the two equations. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. Solve the two equations. We will get the answer V1 is equal to 1.46, V2 is equal to 0 0.37. But our objective is to find the voltage across 3 kilo ohm resistors. What will be the voltage across 3 kilo ohm resistors? Is it V1 or V2? No. Is it is it V1 minus V2? Because the voltage difference, voltage across the 3 kilo ohm is V1 minus V2. So V1 is equal to 1.46, V2 is equal to 0 0.37. So V1 minus V2 is equal to 1.09. This is the voltage across 3 kilo ohm resistors. What will be the voltage across 1 kilo ohm resistors? Voltage across the 1 kilo resistor is V1 minus 0, V1. So V1 is equal to 1.46. Okay, this is the answer. For using the node analysis, find the node, assume the node voltage, assume all the current outflow out from the node, apply the Clips current law, solve the equation, we can get the node voltage. If there is no element between the two nodes, the node voltage will be same. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. Like, comment and share. See you next time.